The earlier one, the catalyst was yeast. This one is potassium iodide. Okay. For Brian O'Leclair, teaching grades 8 and 9 okay. science is a hands-on so activity. a little bit faster. <laughs> Brian has discovered a key to keeping his students' interest level up is by giving them a daily dose of ooh and wow factor experiments to observe. You know, it used to be the, the concept of eureka, I understand it. Now it's more of, ooh, that's cool. And that, ooh, that's cool, or that's interesting, or wow, or that kind of that wow of science, it's not that they just understand it anymore. It's that something has now piqued their interest in what they're doing. Over the course of the unit, Brian will conduct at least 55 different chemistry and physics experiments showing kids how things work and react. You know, there's a bunch of different ways of teaching things, and if you, you know, Science can be boring, and there's a lot of time where the class is boring. They've got to do seat work and terminology and things like that. But the more hands-on information that they get, the more things they see, the more they start to remember. And so I kind of have a philosophy in that I would like to do more experiments, see different things that are happening, and the more they see, the more interest peaks in them. And for many of these students, interest in science is growing. Because there's, there's, there's so many things that science can do for us. Anything? Like, think about it. Like, you look, you, everyone has their own iPods or cell phones. It took science to make that. A different kind of science than what we're learning, but it's still science. I just find everything about science very, very fascinating. Just the way the world works. It's always been a very big wonder to me, and I've really been able to connect with having your mind think in that different sense. Like, I wanted to go into college and like major in drama and science. <laughs> a little bit of a weird combination there, but I don't know, it's what you like. It's expanding? Well, for science, I want to be a doctor, so I need to learn my chemistry, and which is what we're learning right now. I need to know what compounds to mix, or what elements to mix together, to what produces it, what is going to blow up in my face. <laughs> Usually not a good idea. Yeah. Okay, pour it in. There is concern about where future scientists will come from. It's Brian's hope that by offering his students new and interesting projects each day, perhaps a couple of them will come from this very class. Who knows, you could have in this classroom or in this school, the person who will cure something like H1N1 or, you know, cure cancer. In junior high, it's hard to imagine, but it happens.